I'm going to speak English. It's the most famous language. I'm the most famous new media artist. I also believe you're all famous. Um, and you're hopefully today going to be famous for making me rich. We're also going to make a new artwork together. Um, it's going to be really exciting. Maybe we won't make any money. Maybe we will. I don't know. But when you think about artists, you think about culture, right? I mean, you know, you, you have this romantic idea of the artist. The artist looks something like this to you in your head. Maybe this, I'm, this is actually non-gendered. It's just that it's so progressive that uh, it's, a, it's a woman with a beard. Anyway, you think of this sort of you know, fantastic image of a painter just spending their days maybe in a field uh, painting the sunset as it goes over uh, you know, some haystacks or something. But, you know, the, and, and that's culture. You know, the artists produce amazing things. They change the world. People like me, people like most of you in the audience. But the reality, this is my little sticky, my sticky note, the reality is closer to this, actually. The reality is, a, you know, most artists uh, in most culture is being sort of uh, cut back. So there's 50% you know, cutbacks across Europe. Most artists are really a, a little girl in rags. Uh, the average artist makes less than $10,000 a year. And by the way, in case you're thinking, oh, that's maybe only in the United States, uh, where we know artists are treated terribly. In Canada, that's the uh, actual average salary, where we have uh, just doubled our arts funding. So it's something to think about uh, as we talk about the art market. Who is getting expropriated, I guess? <laughs> anyway, so meanwhile, there's another culture that's doing really, really well, it seems like. It's this culture we hear about all the time, and you know, mayors are trying to attract this culture to their cities to make them great. Oh, we'll make the next Paris if only we could be more like San Francisco, right? If only we could attract startup culture. Wouldn't that be great? Wouldn't, what a world we'd live in. Limousines would take us to work. Our lunches would be catered. It's the fantasy that we already have of an artist. It exists today in San Francisco. Just go, check it out. It's amazing. Last year alone, startups raised $65 billion for absolutely nothing. They haven't, they haven't made it. They have, it's just come straight into their... And so I'd like a piece of that. I know you would too, and I'm going to tell you how we're going to do it. So... That, it might, you might think these people are pretty smart, right? You know, these startups, they, they must, they're the geniuses, right? They came from Stanford. My experience, though, I've worked in startups for almost 10 years, is it's closer to uh, uh, three boys in a, in a bouncy castle like this. <laughs> and unfortunately, um, I've witnessed firsthand, it's sometimes a little bit closer to this. Uh, unfortunately, it's a lot of men with, uh, well, this is, I mean, I know this is offensive, but I found it within a, it's clip art, you know, anyway. Anyway, it's more, there's a lot of misogyny, racism, right? We just saw Peter Thiel raise, uh, like, what is it, 1.5, $2 million for Trump. Um, and anyway, it's just the beginning. There are a lot of secret misogynists uh, in startup world. And so, I'm, not, I'm an artist, I'm empathetic. Why do these guys get all the money? It doesn't make any sense.